Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a plugin called Per World Warps. So it's really similar to Per World Plugins, where Per World Plugins allows you to set where certain plugins can only work in certain worlds. This is almost the same thing to where it allows you to set certain warps to only work in certain worlds. So if you missed that tutorial on Per World Plugins, make sure to click on the link right there on the screen. But if you've seen it already, then you pretty much know how this will go. Alright, so let's say you created a PvP warp in your faction's world and only wanted the people in the faction's world to use that and let's say you didn't want anyone in the minigames world to use that or any other world, then you can do that with this plugin to set it to only where people in that one world can use that warp. So I know I just talked a lot about it, but I wanted you guys to understand how it worked, but now we're going to go ahead and install the plugin. So just click on the link in the description, click download, click download again, now just drag this dot jar inside of your plugins folder. Once it's in there, just go ahead and start your server. Alright, so it's actually really simple how this works. To set a warp, you just type the command slash set warp, which most of you guys are familiar with. Type the name of the warp that you want to call it. So I'm just going to call this one warp one. So now it should have been set to this world that you're on right now. With that being said, only the players in the tutorial world or whatever world you're on can use that warp that we just created. So if you want to delete that warp, you just type the command slash delete warp and then type the warp name so warp one now it's no longer on that world or a warp at all and just to teleport to the warp you just type the command slash warp and you type the warp name but now that because i don't have any warps i can't do that command but that's just pretty much how the plugin works so i'm just going to create another warp for you guys show it how it works again and call it random and yeah, so now the random warp has been added to this world that I'm on right now. So if you want to change the location of an already made warp, you can just type the command slash set warp, type the warp name again, and it won't create a new one, but it will update the location of that warp. So let's say I just created my random warp right over there, and if I wanted to update it to be right in the center of this building right here, then I can just type the command slash set warp random, and now the location has been updated, so I can just type the command slash warp random and yeah so now it's right here and if we type the command slash warps we can see a list of the warps on this world the grass was the first one that I created now if we go to a different world and we type slash warps then you can see that there's no warps on here and the other warps on the other world won't show up so that's it for today's tutorial if you'd like to go ahead and smack that like button subscribe if you're not a part of the universe yet and peace out guys Cause it's on a mindset, it's what you gotta get It's a hundred times, you gotta stay positive This is doing now, this is living life If you coming with me, baby, we're doing it right I said we're doing it right Everybody